So what exactly is an HTML tag? We're going to break it down very easy and very simple for you guys. Think about it like this. Every tag has information inside of it. And inside of that tag, you could put different content. It could be an image. It could be a URL, which is the address to an image or address to another page. It can be multiple things. It could just be regular text, right? So let's look at this. This is the H1 tag which is the biggest header out there, right? So let's look at this. We have the open bracket. Then from there we have the H1, which is the tag name. Then from there we have the attribute name, which is the class. And then it says equal to the value. Now the value for this attribute is primary. So what we're basically saying is, hey, we're gonna name this H1 and we're gonna basically identify it by the class which is equal to primary and then from there we have a closing bracket then inside of it we actually have the content the affected content right so we say this header is gonna be a header right and then from there inside of it we have the content which says example heading and then from there we have a closing tag now for you guys you probably never seen this before or you've seen it but you don't understand most HTML tags have a certain content inside of them. So I want to give you guys a quick example. So let's look at this. Right click it, inspect, and look how it actually works. As you can see, there's a div. Div is just saying, hey, there's a container, right? So we have the tag, we have the attribute here, we have the classes, but then right here, we have what it says images. As you can see, that's a container you see that space around it and then inside of it there's a content which is just text which says images right now this other situations where you might see an image which is different an image the information we actually put in it inside of the attribute so these are actually special occasions this doesn't happen all the time there's only a few uh, tags that you basically put in the information or the content that you want inside of the attributes. One thing that you're going to notice is that most of the time we're going to actually just put content inside of an HTML tag. Like here, as you can see, we have a div, which is a container, and inside of the container we have the anchor link, which is this image, which is actually just a link. As you can see, we hover on top of it. If we open link on new, is a new page but inside of that anchor link tag this actually an image this is actually a good example for you guys to see how the dom tree actually works so like let's say an example you have html right that's the html tag and inside of it there's a head and there's a body now inside of the head there's a title there's a meta and there's another meta now the body you have h1 you have a paragraph and then inside of the paragraph you got an anchor link right which is just a link then from there inside of the body you still have an unordered list and inside of that list you have every list item so that's how exactly pages work now all this stuff might seem like mumbo jumbo right now but as soon as we start building more pages you will understand it because the best way to learn HTML is just to actually start building a page. And that's what we're doing next. Okay, kids.